Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great and we give God all the praise. If you are a new member here, please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell for more notifications. My returning subscribers, God Almighty, will surely reward you for sharing the videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, I want to start this video today by reading a scripture from Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. And we know this scripture very well. I want to remind you again that the Bible says the, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. Why am I bringing this scripture here? I just want to talk about the name of Jesus. Yeah. Why? Because the way and manner our gospel singers are drifting from this name these days is alarming. And we must begin to talk about it, to call their attention so that they can retrace their step. Because we have seen it that this is the onslaught of the devil to, you know, make sure that the name of Jesus is diminished. And trust me, no one can diminish that name because that name rings bell even in hell. And Satan is always angry when he hears people singing that name, praying with that name, and talking about that name. So in music now, he has entered and he began to bring all sorts of you know, musicians in the name of gospel music. And you listen, listen from the beginning to the end, you will not hear the name of Jesus. Please, we must be careful about this. It's not supposed to be. This name is meant to spread all over the world, to every nose and cranny, so that mankind can be saved and reconciled back to God. But Satan is trying to bring his ugly head through gospel music because he knows that gospel musicians, through their songs, that many, even those that never heard about Jesus, by men listening to their music, is hearing that name, and Satan is not happy. So Bishop Oyedepo has come to admonish all the singers, gospel singers, if you're a songwriter, include the name of Jesus. If you're a composer, compose the name of Jesus into your songs. Even if you're, you know, inspirational singer, sing with the name of Jesus with all boldness, okay? Because that name is the only name that is given among men by which men will be saved. So if we remove it from our sons, you see that the purpose of giving that name is defeated. And God forbid, that will not happen. That's why God is calling the attention of this man of God. You remember Pastor Chris Oyakilome has been crying for the past one or two years now. Crying, calling his children. Say, please, retrace back your feet. Stop drifting away by, you know, celebrity, whatever. Come back to the cross. That is where you started. He, to the level that he has to teach them the difference between praise and worship. And the difference between a gospel singer, gospel music and secular singer and secular songs. And people never understood why he was crying. This is one of it. I remember Frank Ed Edward shared a story. In fact, he granted an interview. If you Google it, you will see it. Where he gave an account of encounter, the encounter he had in South Africa when he was just a young musician praying to God to announce him to the world. And all of a sudden, right there in South Africa where they were shooting with his manager and all that, that are working with them. Some group of persons, after watching them closely, now gave him an offer. And what is that offer? That he must begin to replace the name of Jesus in his songs with God. And the boy said, what? How? He said, because if you want to go viral, which we can make you go viral if you want, your songs, even in Arabic country, in the in a, in a Muslim countries, they will embrace your song if you remove the name of Jesus and replace it with God. And the boy said, God, no, I can't do that. Thank God for a mother that inculcated the 
godliness, the fear of God into his son. He called the mother and, and told the mother. The mother said, which kind of deal is that? Please discard it. Don't ever accept it from the pit of hell. Why do you want to remove the name of Jesus from, this, from your son? For what? That was how that boy walked away. According to him, his managers that were already jumping and happy were angry with him. But he never mind. Today, he has gone viral and he's doing well. So, my people, Bishop Oyedepo, in this clip I want to share with you, has admonished all the singers all over the world. Are you in choir? Your local church? This video is for you. Are you a songwriter? This video is for you. Are you a, a song singer? This video is for you. Don't allow the enemy to remove the name of Jesus from your mouth, from your song. And God Almighty, who never forgets the level of his people's love, will always remember you, make you viral, prosper you in the name of Jesus. This is the video. Please listen to Bishop Oyedeko and other pastors that have been crying that we must pay attention to the name of Jesus gradually dwindling in our songs these days. I'm going to stop here, my people. I will come back. Thank you so much. And please, I said, subscribe to support a sister and God Almighty will bless you. Bye bye. Just a word of instruction to all of our songwriters and all those in music ministries among us. Anything about Jesus, endeavor to input the name of Jesus in your songs. The enemy is not angry about our melody. It's angry about the name. That they speak no more in that name. And as I began to watch, I saw the name is disappearing again and again and replaced with only melody. That's not it. He's so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know those yeah. There is something about that name that rings a bell in heaven. <laughs> Let's endeavor to input the name of Jesus in our songwriting. That's what makes it Christian. Can I hear you loud and say amen? Yeah. Oh, Jesus is the rock in a weary land. A weary land, a weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in the time of storm. Endeavor to input Jesus in it. And I've also found something fun in the church. There's a lot of shout without interpretation. They were shouting, Hosanna in the highest. Let's see that comment in the name of the Lord. Let's put meaning to the shout. You know, let's put many to it. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. That means the Lord reigns. That's the meaning. The Lord reigns. It has a heavenly meaning. Put it in there. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Now, now listen to me. This will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. We must endeavor to recover the fundamentals of the faith. Bring it back to place. Hosanna! That is the Lord is here. That means the Lord is here. Blessed is that coming in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! That creates more headache to the devil than the torrents of barrels of gone as a shout. Let's put this thing together. You know, this is a church family. And what we are trying to do is to put things in place to keep experiencing more of God's grace from time to time. You never lack his presence. Yeah.